Hello everyone, welcome to today's Halloween review. In today's review, we'll be looking at Murder in the Red Barn, a period piece that follows Ted Slaughter, who plays Sir William Squire, as he attempts to secure his fortune through any means necessary. And before you say anything, yes, the actor has a verb for a last name, and the character he portrays has a noun for a last name. Kind of weird. Though, as the self-proclaimed horror fur, I would love to have the last name Slaughter. But enough about my fond fantasies of terror-inducing surnames, let's get started with the synopsis and review. The movie starts with the introduction of all the characters as if it were a play, then it jumps to a scene of the small village gathered together in a barn dance. Townsfolk, rich and poor, as well as the local gypsies are all enjoying a night of festivities. We watch as Mariah Martin, played by Sophie Stewart, speaks with Squire Corder and Carlos the Gypsy. Both men are clearly infatuated with her, with Corder planning to meet with her later on, and Carlos kissing her and professing his love for her. The party comes to an end with one of the gypsies predicts Corder's death by hanging. Next, we see Mariah lying about her reasons to skip choir practice so that she can sneak out of her home and into Corder's. It is implied that Mariah and Corder have sex, and that even though Mariah regrets it, she is happy when Corder promises to marry her and move her to London. Later, we see Corder gambling and losing $6,000 to Gambling Winner. No, I didn't make a mistake. That is literally how he is credited. His character's name is Gambling Winner. To make up for this debt, Corder woos the daughter of another rich inhabitant of the town and makes plans to marry her. Carlos meets with Mariah, trying once again to convince her to marry him, but Mariah tells him that she and Cordos plan to be married and move away. However, after this, Mariah finds out that she is with child and sneaks over to Cordos' house to give him the news. Cordos panics and promises to marry her that very night. He tells Mariah to meet him in the old red barn where they will be married. Mariah leaves to wait in the barn. Cordos arrives and tells her that he will make her a bride of death. A chase scene ensues and Cordos ends up shooting and killing Mariah. He buries her in the barn with his pistol, then he goes back home. As Carlos and Mariah's family search for her, Cordos continues his plans to marry the rich daughter of his affluent neighbor. Carlos, suspicious of Cordos, sneaks into the house before the wedding and gets a confession out of the man at knife point. However, the tables are turned when Cordos pulls a gun on Carlos. Cordos shoots Carlos in the back as he tries to make his escape. This shot to the back actually does not affect Carlos in the slightest bit, except for the exact moment that he's shot. Afterwards, he completely ignores it for the rest of the film. The police, Mariah's father and all the guests at the wedding chase after Carlos until they corner him in the barn. Just before the police take Carlos to jail, Carlos notices a dog digging at the ground inside the barn and points it out to the rest of the people gathered. For some reason, they insist on having Cordos dig up the loose dirt. The entire time he's digging, Cordos tries to maintain his innocence until his pistol is unearthed next to Mariah's corpse. He pulls another pistol and threatens the group with it, but is overwhelmed and taken into custody. The movie keeps going after this, playing out a scene with Cordos waiting to be executed. His executioner falls ill, and his ex execution has to be delayed unless a volunteer executioner can be found, because you know, that's a thing. Lo and behold, a volunteer is found, and surprise, surprise, it's Carlos. And true to the gypsy woman's prediction, at the start of the movie, Cordos dies by hanging. And thus ends the movie. And I have to say, it could not have happened sooner. Murder in the Red Barn was a chore to watch, even for someone who enjoys old horror movies, like me. Its story is interesting and the concept is intriguing, but its execution is just terrible. And the movie's pacing makes the whole thing seem like it's all happening at once when it's actually happening over weeks, or months. I'm not actually sure. I would love to see it remade by someone like M. Night Shyamalan, whose stories regularly take desperate situations, secrets, and death, and uses them to build a tense atmosphere and unnerving character interaction. Murder in the Red Barn attempts this, but it has too many characters that it uses poorly, a story that it tries to tell in too fast a fashion, and actors who simply cannot pull off their roles very well, which is actually kind of surprising considering that Todd Slaughter plays the role of Cordos. And yes, I'm taking the time frame the movie was filmed in into consideration. If the story itself sounds interesting to you, then I recommend you give Murder in the Red Barn a watch. If it doesn't, then I can't really recommend it. Its pacing and presentation just made it a difficult movie for me to watch. That ends today's review. I hope you all enjoyed the review, even if I didn't really enjoy the movie this time. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you disliked it, please give it a dislike and leave me some constructive criticism in the comments. I hope you all have a great day, and as always, stay positive.